Masked mannequins. These are the times we're living in, and some people are ready to start living it up again. A lot of stores in Fort Worth remain closed, even though Texas told them they could open. The few that did open were quiet, but Del Frisco's Grill in Sundance Square was not. Restaurant patios were the main attraction. Mazzaro in Clear Fork, Social House in West 7th, Blue Mesa in University Park Village. Some of you are thinking it's great to see people finally working again. A relief to see people spending money again. But some of you are thinking it's scary to see people out again. <laughs> Lindsay Ross thinks all of that. I see both, both perspectives. I want to get back to work and this is my livelihood, you know. But I also carry this responsibility you know, of, for, you know, that these people that I have to protect as well. She's a single mom and entrepreneur. She's owned a chocolate store in downtown Fort Worth for 14 years and a toy store around the corner for three. Neither is open. Malls are at 25% capacity, but food courts are closed, access to bathrooms limited. The general manager at Grapevine Mills Mall said about 50 of his 200 or so shops are open. We feel good about what we have in place, but certainly would understand if a consumer wants to wait until, you know, a month, a week, two weeks, whatever, until they feel more comfortable coming. So we certainly understand that here. We can do it safely. Lindsay Ross feels a burden to pay her employees and her bills. So she's opening both stores on Monday. I'm ready for normal, but I don't know. I don't, we don't know what that looks like right now. She knows what brings comfort to some brings anxiety to others because no one defines normal the same. In Fort Worth, I'm Teresa Woodard.